Are you a web developer who wants to get into Web3? The good news is that you already have most of the required skills, but there are still some other things that you need to learn. And that's what I'm going to explain in this video. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and in the vlogs, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. A Web3 application, also called a decentralized application, is an application built on the blockchain. The most popular blockchain for decentralized applications is Ethereum. And even for other blockchains, many are based on the Ethereum technology. Compared to regular web applications, Web3 applications have a few benefits, like users are able to retain much more value as there is no intermediary, it's open to everybody, it's censorship resistance, it's permissionless, which means anybody can execute a smart contract, no need to ask for API access. It's composable, which means an application can be built on top of other applications, and it's safer as there is no centralized point of failure. There are three main use cases for Web3 applications. DeFi, where finance is reinvented. NFTs, where we can create unique digital assets. And DAOs, which are decentralized organizations which can vote and spend the treasury. A Web3 application has three parts. A smart contract, a front-end, and a back-end. The smart contract is a small program that runs on a blockchain. That's where you have the most critical data and logic. Then you have a web front-end so that end users can use the smart contract easily. This interface connects to another software called a wallet. That's where users store their private keys, the equivalent of passwords. The private keys never leave the wallet and only the user is in control of the wallet. And then we have the backend, which is usually very small and only serve the front end. The majority of a Web3 application is a regular web application. That's why if you already are a web developer and you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React, you already have most of the required skills. Still, you need to learn a few other things like Solidity, the language for smart contracts on Ethereum. You also have to learn either Truffle or Hat Hat, two popular frameworks for smart contracts. To interact with your smart contract from the front end, you have to learn Web3.js or Ethers, two popular JavaScript libraries. And you also have to learn how to integrate your application with MetaMask, the most used Ethereum wallet. So that was a very short intro for how to transition from Web2 to Web3 development. If you want a longer intro to Web3 development, you can check out this other video where I give a full roadmap. I will see you there.